a no flour, no sugar situation. Let's go. Hi, it's Dory and welcome. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, the like button and the bell button so we can stay in touch. So now listen, what's gonna happen here is first to get to know me a little bit, click the link on the screen so that you can hear a little bit about my story. But let's get started. Today we are making red lentil wraps and red lentil bread. Yes, I said bread. So if you don't know me, I do follow Bright Line Eating, which is no sugar, no flour. So right now we're on a series that's all about using a red lentil batter, which is also on the screen so that you can get that recipe. Click it, click it, click it. And then you can make all kinds of stuff with me. As always, the timestamps for this video, the ingredients, the process, the tools is linked. It's all linked in the description below. I love these wraps because I can use them either as wraps, soft shell tacos, tortillas, or even tostadas. Taking six ounces of our red lentil batter, we'll add water little by little so that we can achieve a liquidy consistency. I even put it in my blender again with the water so that it can get well mixed. Pouring it on the stovetop or your griddle maker, you're going to evenly distribute and try to achieve a perfect round circle. By the way, this griddle maker is linked in the description below. Add everything but the bagel seasoning and let this cook. You'll want to check it from time to time and also try to flip it so that it cooks evenly on both sides. You'll notice as you're doing this that this particular wrap, which is different than the pizza crust we've made and the sandwich bread we've made, is that this is a bit flimsy. We should be able to bend it, fold it, and work with it. As you can see here, I'm letting it cook just for a few more moments on the side that need it a little extra. After that, let this cool in a plate. Now, my six ounces of batter yielded three wraps and so i was able to enjoy three soft shell tacos now you can use this like i mentioned for a variety of different recipes which we will do here on this channel but for now enjoy these wraps in a way that makes sense to you you should be able to fold them you could also throw them in a uh, air fryer or oven to be able to make a crispy tostada if that's what you'd like to do and here you'll notice my shrimp salad cabbage taco. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below and stay tuned for more recipes. We're going to have fun with this one, guys. Let's make our flatbread using six ounces of the red lentil batter recipe. You're going to add a little bit of water to get it to the consistency that works for you. I like mine a little bit thicker so that I have a heartier sandwich. I will then spray my griddle maker and pour the batter in. If you don't have a griddle maker, you can use a stovetop, no problem. From here, I allow this to cook, checking it from time to time to make sure that it's evenly cooking or cooking to the type of firmness that I prefer. Oftentimes, I'll cook it, I will check it a few times and even flip it over to the other side to ensure that it is well cooked on both sides. Once that is done, I will remove it from the griddle maker. By the way, this is linked in the description below if you're interested in what I am using here. I'll remove it and let it cool and then I'll start to build my sandwich. Before I build my sandwich, I'll make sure to cut this bread in half so that I can eat it with both my hands like a regular half of a sandwich. Taking all of my vegetables in my fat serving, I'll spread guacamole on one side. Then I will load the sandwich with all my vegetables. In this case, I have everything on my scale. I've got lettuce, tomatoes, caramelized onions, and roasted eggplants. A little bit of seasoning and spray as well as the rest of the guacamole. Once I fold it and put it together, I will insert toothpicks like you would typically see at a diner when they're holding a sandwich together. The thinner your vegetables, the better the handhold will be on this sandwich. And then that is it. The sandwich is ready for me.
All right, guys, we got our beautiful sandwich right here, ready for some lunch. Beautiful. I could have cut it a little thinner, the tomatoes and the eggplant, but it's okay. Look at that guacamole wanting to come out all off to the side. I've got my sandwich, my veggie sandwich. I have some Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Blueberries. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Who makes the blueberries that big? They're huge. Anyway, let's give it a taste test. Mm. I'm so excited. Mmm. 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 Great. Sandwich is a two hand situation. Oh, it's holding itself together, which is great. Mm hmm. Right? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I love the eggplant with the tomato and the onions that were grilled. Guacamole, giving it a little bit of a. <laughs> Thank you.